It's Madden NFL 24. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Cleveland Browns and the Buffalo Bills. And it's coming up next. We are just about four miles off the shore of Lake Erie at Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. But today, two AFC teams set to do battle. It should be a good one as it'll be the Cleveland Browns taking on the Buffalo Bills. Happy to be on hand. I'm Brandon Gunn with Charles Davis. And before we kick, partner, your keys to the game, please. Well, my keys are on the defensive side of the ball for both teams. And the big one, making sure you avoid giving up the big play. These safeties are going to get tested all game long. Their job, keep the ball in front of them, tackle people, make them run extra plays in order to try and score. here to start it's a touchback and it will come out to the 25 well, the Buffalo offense coming out and it is Josh Allen who is at the helm and in this league there are many quarterbacks who have their most success running the ball while there are others who have big arms there aren't too many guys who can do both and at the end of many games this guy leads his team not just in passing but in rushing as well Now it's Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. Now a first carry for the brother of Dalvin. It's James Cook. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. An early test. Two plays in. This is third and two. On play action, Allen steps away pushes past him and he'll be taken down but he does have first down yardage the drive stays alive a third down gain of eight he's a talented runner and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker and this early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs allen now on first down He's got his target. It's the tight end, Knox. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A really nice gain of 25 yards. For many teams, the evaluation of tight ends has really changed. We used to wonder about how they would block first and foremost. Now we want to know how these guys can run because we envision them in offenses, catch the ball. How much yardage can they gain after that? And that on display there for a good pickup. So a first and 10 upcoming from Brown's territory now at the 34. Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. And all the way home for a Bills touchdown. Stephon Diggs, 34 yards. And the Bills will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. 
And Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. to the touchdown pass to kick it away. And this taken in at the goal line. And just shedding him off there. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. So here are the Browns under head coach Kevin Stefanski. And a quarterback, a longtime signal caller of the National Football League, former Super Bowl MVP Joe Flacco. Remember when the conversation was, is Joe Flacco elite? Well, at one point, he was elite enough to not only win a Super Bowl, but be named the MVP of that game. And for a time, one of the top paid quarterbacks in the league. Not bad for a young man who transferred to Delaware from Pitt while in college. This guy has had a great career, not many chances now to lead an offense, but still capable if put on the field. Flacco's throw taken in by Cooper here. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. Pretty good job defensively. Thought he was going to get it, but they knew where that marker was, and they stopped him just short of it. What it does is emphasize that strategic football and situational football is not just played on the offensive side, is it? Defense understanding, as you noted, where the first down marker was and making sure they didn't get there. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. But following the play now, they're going to stop the clock here as a man is shaken up. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. Second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Operating off play action, Flacco. That's caught by his tight end, Jordan Akins. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender, but the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. They'll come up now third and three. Flacco will take to the air again. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. You absolutely have to have this early on, right? Third and short, they elect to throw for it, and that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short, but you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone, can't connect there. On fourth down, on is Corey Bohorquez to punt. Deontay Hardy back deep. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. 
And just two series in here, Charles, but everything's gone to script so far. They got a touchdown on their first drive. Their defense holds, and now they've got a chance to take a two-score lead. And to co-sign with you, exactly the start they scripted up. And really, that kind of start, that can set the tone for the game for them. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. To throw, it's Allen. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. I'm darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. Here's second and 10 now from about the 32. Allen off the play fake. That's into a crowd and intercepted. And they take over. They'll set up shop at the 46-yard line. So the ball changing hands on the interception. But meanwhile here, we do have an injury on the play. We'll check on his status when we return to Orchard Park. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. They run with Ford. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From the 41, here's a second and five. Again, they turn to Ford. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. But if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Third down and one. Flacco. And they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to creep. And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. And every game we talk about what are going to be the keys as we go into it. Maybe that's a key for their defense today. Pressure the quarterback and make sure you play a good zone defense behind them and they get their first sack of the contest. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Flacco. He finds his man complete. It's Ford, and he gets it down to the 32. So the completion results there in nine yards, and that brings up third and a full 10 yards. this set of down started. They need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Third down. Flacco needs a decent chunk of yardage. He finds his man complete. It's Ford. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked it down to force a fourth down? Hopkins' kick is good, and they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. So, Charles, they get to them with their first turnover of the game and then make it hurt a little bit extra with a field goal. And anytime you give the ball up, what's the first thing a coach tells his defense? Don't let them score off of this. You've got to put out the fire. In fact, in 2021, that's what one NFL coach termed his defense, the firemen. Go out there, guys, and don't let them put some points on the board. The 
Following the made field goal for three. Hopkins now to kick it off. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Here's the Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. Been a little bit of an interesting start. The first drive for him, Charles, they had the passing touchdown. The second drive, he threw the interception. So we'll see what this third drive of the ball game brings. Yeah, it's kind of tiebreaker, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, that's a tough part for them and for him because, yeah, things went really well on that first one, not so well on the second one. He wants to get back to what he did to get this game going. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that nearly intercepted. Well, the free safety roaming into position almost had it, but it's second down. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're saying. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And meanwhile, Allen's throw going to be caught by Davis. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. To the air, Allen. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. Here's Allen on first and 10. A short throw pulled in by Kincaid. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. He's a rookie, and you don't want to get hung up on the word potential. But when you see him make catches like that, you keep thinking to yourself, he's good now. He's got a chance to be great with plenty of work. Ball on the 47-yard line. Here's second and three. Up the middle, it's Cook. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Allen going to try and throw on third down. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. And this will be out of bounds. Now it's a question of where they'll mark it. And they'll say it crosses at the 11-yard line. The football going back over now to the Cleveland Browns. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, <laughs> that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Then the extra point. That's it. That'll give them eight that time, and they'll be left with second in a couple. Now that's staying ahead of the chains. Really good pickup on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now it brings up a second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. Second and a couple. The handoff to Ford up the middle, and they'll get him down here at the 23. Four yards the pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. First and 10, and Flacco looking to throw. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. 
Well, anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. He'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. Now Flacco. That quick throw there is incomplete. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. To pass, Flacco. Deep ball for Goodwin. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. On fourth down, on is Corey Bajorquez to punt. We'll call that a 47-yard punt, a return of just three. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and ten. Buffalo offense back out ready to go. Obviously not the intended goal last drive. They had to punt the football, but still they've got the lead here and now a chance to add on to that lead if they can get points on this drive. First and ten upcoming. Allen and the Bills now with a first and ten, just shy of the 30. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. And bringing it in, it's Davis. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, a 22. But well, one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. And that one's going to come up a little short. It's incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Here's Allen. Completes it to Davis. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 29-yard line. A good pick up there on 20 yards. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Second quarter now in Buffalo. It's the Bills in control of the football. From the 24 now, here's second down and five. Now Allen. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived, and I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. Working the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 12-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one and earns him a fresh shot of down. Would it be safe to say that as precise as routes are supposed to be run in the NFL, maybe they're not quite as precise in college ball? That's accurate, yeah. And I think we saw a college route in the NFL there. Just find the soft spot, find the dead zone, and find the first down. And that's what he just did. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Not only did they drop what looked like an interception in the end zone, it blew a golden opportunity to shift the momentum. Now is second and ten. 
On play action, Allen. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Josh Allen, very athletic at 6'5", showing the versatility, picking up the first on the scramble. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, It'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. And he'll get in! Touchdown, Buffalo! James Cook punching it in from a yard away as his guys are able to extend their lead. Sometimes offense if you get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here and we get a seal here and we run this play in the alley and that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone An extra point by bass up and good and that pushes the lead up to 11. Touchdown, Bass to kick it away. On the return, here's Jerome Ford. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. They will start this drive with four. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him work. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for long because he's just going to speed right past them. Now a throw here going to be taken in by the tight end to Joku. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Just what the Browns needed there. Good for a gain of 17. You don't always expect tight ends to be big in terms of run after the catch, but after that play, he joins a growing band of players that's putting that stereotype right on its ear. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. On the ground, it's Ford. Stays on his feet. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. 46 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to that end zone real fast. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Now second and five. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. And even 20 yards for Kareem Hunt. And the Browns have got it back to within a score. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic, and it sounds almost trite. But the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? 
Hopkins with the extra point, and that makes it a 14-10 ball game. Touchdown, Dustin Hopkins will kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. And now out come the Bills. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there in the back end. And because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. On second down, here's Allen. Throw left side to Kincaid. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. First down, here's the run with Cook. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Another big hitter there, this one good for 18. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front and they were able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to roam. They run again on first down, Cook. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. The running lanes have definitely not been there for him here in the first half, and I don't think it's all been his fault. His offensive line hasn't given him much space. A loss results there. Allen going to throw. And that nearly intercepted. It's incomplete. Now, remember, he had a pick earlier, but couldn't reel that one in. The name of the game, as always on defense, put pressure on the quarterback. And that's exactly what they've done today. It looks like they've got him a little bit rattled. That would have been the second interception in the first half. So they fake the handoff. Now Allen. That is caught. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns' 17-yard line. 21 yards there on third down. That's a play that will likely be forgotten when you talk about big moments in this game. But plays like this are critical to keep drives going. And if points result, we'll call this play significant. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Back to the ground, Cook. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he takes us down to about the 12 for a gain of three. So if you've been playing defense in this one, there's a little bit of the good and some bad because they did give up the touchdown run to him earlier, but shut him down otherwise. Outside of that, you're exactly right. I would say they've contained him very well. The Bills on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This will be third and five. Throwing now is Allen. He's got his target. That's complete. And the Bills are going to have 
first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Well, they've had a great, impressive drive going here, and that pickup ensures the drive continues. And not only do you continue the drive, which is demoralizing for the guys on the defense side of the ball right now, but you make your own defense happy. They're able to get a little more rest over on the sidelines while this one continues downfield. Once more, Murray. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. He may be a bit undersized compared to the modern-day NFL defensive tackle, but what he lacks in size, he definitely makes up for in his ability to make tackles in the run game as well. And they'll run again. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Latavius Murray taking it in from four yards out. And the Bills had six to their lead. No success on first down. He couldn't get any yardage. They give it to him again, and he finds the end zone. Sometimes it just has to be persistence, doesn't it? And you know who else helps with that? Offensive line. After a team's been stuffed, the last thing they want to do is go to a different play call. They want to come back and do it again and show that they can dominate the line of scrimmage. To the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. Ford now to return it, take it at about the one. And a decent return out to the 27 yard line. A look at the running back, the man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. They're behind in the first half here, CD, but it's not through any fault of their running back. He's had a strong start to this one. And you're right about that, partner, because watching him play. You would think that his team is in the lead. He has been a lot of fun in this contest. Now let's see if they can actually make something happen and put more points on the board behind his efforts. Yeah, I'm curious to see, Charles, if they can play complimentary football and get that passing game going as well. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. 68 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. The way the game has changed a little bit is that defensive goals have changed in a big way. Nowadays, it's not so much stopping certain yardage or whatever, but it's not giving up big, explosive plays. Anything over 10 yards, you're trying to hold teams below that. When they get one against you, as we just saw there, boy, that really hurts them. It puts them back on their heels a little bit. It makes them a little bit less confident. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight, doesn't really matter. Because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now that's the way to do it. Hand it to someone with vision and good footwork and handling a little bit of power, and you find a way to pick up first downs. Right back to him on first down. And if there was a lane there, it closed up quickly as he stopped for no gain, second down. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a force of nature in the defensive tackle position. Yes, he's as big as they come, but still plenty agile. He's able to make a nice play there to swallow up the ball carrier. Second and 10. Now Flacco. And that's incomplete. And that's the knowledge you gain from being in this league for a long time. He's learned the hard way when to give up and fight another down. And that's a smart move to throw it away. Game clock at 2.01. Time for one final play before the two-minute warning. Flacco from the gun. Open man, that's Cooper. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20.
So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Flacco looks to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Gregory Russo. That is now two sacks for him here in this first half. He had some real defensive resistance there. Saying not so fast to a good drive. They had marched to the end zone the last time out. Playing the drive now on third and a country mile. Flacco. And that one goes incomplete on the draw. That's what he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. And based on my math, they've only converted one time thus far in this game. So you can see the frustration starting to come out a little bit. Third downs, they've been a problem for them all game. They've got to start becoming solutions. is just outside the right upright it's no good and they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. but well, usually when you get a right footed kicker on the right hash his goal is to draw the ball back to the middle but this time it doesn't move at all he ends up missing off to the right the bill's getting set to go So good field position for the Bills as they come up first and 10 at their 38. To throw, it's Allen. It's complete to Diggs. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Now the Bills are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Second down at six now from the 42. Here's Allen to throw it. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike at the 49. Well, Charles, sometimes we talk about the lengths officials sometimes go to to protect star quarterbacks, but that one, that was tough to argue against. Yeah, and I'm sure that everyone's going to say, hey, we're going to administer the penalty the same way for all quarterbacks. But when it's a star back there, even more so, they're going to be diligent about throwing the flag. And they'll get eight out of this before being stopped at the 28. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Two yards to go, second down. Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here at half number one. to throw once more. Left side caught by Diggs. And the Bills are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call.
So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. The kick by Bass is good. And the lead grows to 14 to 24 to 10. So a capper there to a pretty good first half. And I love the way that they put a chokehold on the clock and pretty much drained everything before they put the field goal on the board as they headed into the half. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. So we've reached halftime here in Orchard Park with the Bills taking the lead into the break. As we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome everyone to our brand new studios here in downtown Orlando in the EA Sports Halftime Report. The Bills were led in the first half by their all-world quarterback, Josh Allen. He's got a touchdown pass on the ledger as his guys were able to build a double-digit lead. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. going to see the football first, but they trail here as we resume play on EA Sports. Well, now how about this return? And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Browns offense set to go to work to begin this third quarter. In well, the first half, they struggled a little bit to keep pace offensively, CD, down two scores here. So how do they make some changes coming out of the locker room? Well, they've studied what they did in the first half. They've seen what the defense has thrown at them. Now they want to have a plan of attack against it. So you come out, you're not going to get all the points back on one drive, but get started on it. Start chopping into that lead, and maybe it'll inspire your defense to help out as well. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion, and when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 91 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll take this one down to about the 40. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired, I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? This is Ford. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. But really, that was no surprise there. They've been running it well all game. And I know goals change all the time, but any team will take that type of run each and every time. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Setting up to throw Flacco. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he's got a first. 
first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 25-yard line. The third down conversion successful, a gain of 11. And that's one of the better plays we've seen this offense put together so far. They haven't been able to get on track much at all. But listen, they're only down a couple of scores with the rest of this quarter and the entire fourth remaining. So, stranger things have happened. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. Now a second and six. Now Flacco. This is the tight end, the Joku. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 18 yards that time to push him up first and goal. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. To pass, Flacco. And this is incomplete. A great job defensively taking away his receivers, and he was forced to put that one into Lake Erie, but that's what good quarterbacks do. They don't take unnecessary chances if they don't have to. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Ford, not going anywhere. He'll lose a couple back to the six. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. I thought they were onto something with their play call. It kind of went in reverse a little bit, threw it on first down, then ran it on second down. Not successful either way. What play call do they come up with here on this important third down try? Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So now fourth and goal. You're trailing by a decent amount here. What are you doing, Coach Davis? Well, I've got to think to myself, just how many more opportunities am I going to have this close and have this chance? I've got to go for it right here. The clock's dwindling on me. Let's go get it done. Disadvantage now back down to 11. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing. All right, they didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need them to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. the main field goal for three Hopkins now to kick it off and his guys will get the football right at the 20 yard line so here's the Bills offense now they get ready for their first possession of the second half to the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Shakir holds it in. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that'll make it second down. A give to Cook out of the gun. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So first and 10 now from the 30. Oh, 
Allen going to fire quickly and get it to Diggs out wide. It'll go as a gain of four, and that will bring up second down. Here's Allen. On the slant, he's got Davis. And Davis will have a Bills first down as he'll get this up to the 43. It goes as a gain of eight and moves the chains. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On play action, Allen. Little pitch and catch to the tight end, Knox. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. So they'll get nothing out of that play. And it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed quickly. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. And that's one of the few things that has not gone right for this offense so far. They've had their share of big plays. That was nearly another. But somehow, he just couldn't squeeze it. Here comes the seventh play now of this drive as this is third and ten. To the air, Allen. Eluding the pressure right. Sheds him up. Allen hit. He lost the football. And they're going to have another first down as he's going to be tackled at the Browns 42. When that ball popped free, we could hear it all the way up here. Those guys down on the field alerting everyone to the fumble. He's lucky that his offensive mates picked him up and jumped on it. Yeah, and you have to think to yourself, and I'm sure they've been echoing it on the sideline and into the huddle. Guys, we have the lead. Just take care of the football. Don't make it easier for them to start to make a comeback. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball. They leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Cook up the gut. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four. Second and six. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Second and six. Allen off the play fake. And oh, it's incomplete. Six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away, but the bottom line is that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. And this is caught for a Bills touchdown. Gabriel Davis from 21 yards away. And the Bills are able to stretch out their lead. And this is what coaches talk about, never being satisfied. No matter what the lead, always trying to increase it. You never know what can happen in this NFL. Here's Bass now for the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And it ends with a touchdown pass to Gabriel Davis. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. 
And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. He is knocking on the door for 100 yards in this ball game. And it's so important. It doesn't seem like it's that big of a deal. Just short of it, a little bit over. A little bit over feels better to everyone. Offensive line, running back, team totals, just something magical about breaking that barrier. Now he's right there on the doorstep now. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That was Terrell Bernard navigating his way to the backfield and dropping him for a loss. But these guys are going to chop into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. No yardage would be found. Flacco here on second down. Over the middle, and he's got good one complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time, he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. On first down, four, and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and ten coming up. Now that's on the guard, Wyatt Teller. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Up the middle they go. It's Ford. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Vision is so important for the man in the middle because his ability to, to, to look through all the clutter that's happening in front of him, diagnose a play, and then go make it and finish it, that's when the great ones know that they have the goods. On second down, Flacco to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Ford. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. That is caught. And he is going to have a Browns first down. And he was able to get it by plenty. A gain of eight on third and three. Well, we use the term pitch and catch a lot to denote an easy completion. We just saw one right there on third and three to pick up the first down. Why are those so tough to defend? Just because they hit so quickly? Yeah, it's all about timing and confidence. Quarterback sees it, rips it, there you go. So first and ten now in Buffalo territory at the 44-yard line. Down to the 42, second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. From the gun, Flacco. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. The first down line at the 34 here on third down. Flacco from the gun. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. Gregory Russo able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. And that sack, Charles, just looked like a case where a speedy defensive end is a little bit quicker than the offensive tackle. Yeah, it makes it difficult for a tackle to determine what exactly to do. Do you do the kick slide and try and get back in the pocket and meet him there? Do you meet him on the line of scrimmage where they call a quick set? In any event, right now, he's having his troubles. The Browns send out their punter now. They'll boot it away from about his 35. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. 
Gabe Davis of the Bills offense set to get back to work. Previous series, definitely a focal point. Three catches, the touchdown grab. As a DB, your former DB, is there a number of catches on a drive you're like, oh, he got the best of us? I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of plays. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Buffalo. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. It's the Bills with a lead and the football here to begin the fourth quarter. And he'll fight forward to about the 27 yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. And he is not going to get the first down as he'll spot this at about the 28. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Here's Sam Martin now as he'll kick it away for the second time. Returning it is Moore. 43 yards on the punt, return of four. And the Browns will take over, first and 10. Cleveland offense making their way out. Even though they were able to force the punt defensively, still a big hole to climb out of, especially at this late stage of the contest. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Operating out of the gun, Flacco. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Flacco. This short pass into the hands of Njoku, and he's out of bounds, able to take this one up to the 35. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Yeah, that one was covered pretty well because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn upfield and pick up the first down. The Browns on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This will be third and six. Now it's Flacco. That is incomplete. Even with such a big lead late, the effort hasn't lapsed one bit. If the offense wants to score some points in this one, they're going to have to earn it. These guys are not giving up anything. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. They're going to try it. Here's Flacco. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Jordan Poirier. And they take over. They'll set up shot at the 46-yard line. Well, I guess an interception at this point on fourth down is just as bad as an incomplete pass. Either way, the ball goes over the other side. Yeah, it's a tough spot to be in this late in the game, and there's not a whole lot he could do there. And he winds up giving the ball away. Back onto the field now comes the Bills' offense. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead.
They'll try the middle with Cook. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. They suspected that it was a power play up the middle coming at them, and boy, were they right. That defense got downhill in a hurry and limited them to just a couple on first down. This is second and eight. They run the counter with Cook. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. 63 yards rushing for him at the ball game now on 14 carries. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Here is third and five. Allen now looks to throw. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That catch puts him right at 100 yards receiving now, and it also gives him a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Hand off comes to Cook. Oh, what a move. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Now give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down. You're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Second and six with the ball on the seven. Here's Cook again. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. Some good strong running right there. Some power and some explosiveness just about got him into the end zone. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Allen going to try and keep it. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. are just like that you know some philosophy some coaches are like look when I got a chance to put some more points on the board I don't care what the situation I'm going to do it and they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them you won't hear people protest out of them that's just who they are to begin the drive here's a handoff to Hunt and they'll get him down up past the 15 yard line that play going for 16 yards to start the drive, first down. Well, depending on the temperament of the head coach, he's either turning to the bench and screaming, where was that all game? Or maybe just kind of keeping it to himself and saying, okay, it's something to build on and a positive comes out of a bad game because those are going to happen from time to time. We'll see how he gets his team ready to go in the future. But that run right there, that's what they were looking for. And he'll 
He'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And 22 more yards there and another first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. So that'll be no better than an incompletion, and that'll bring up second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Draw play to Ford. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. I thought that was a good call. Passing situation on second down. They hit him with a draw instead and pick up nice yardage. Yeah, because the draw, they're thinking pass when they see that initially defensively, right? But you know in today's NFL, most of the time on second and long when it's a passing situation, pass rushers are on the field and they're only thinking one thing, get to the quarterback. And oftentimes you can bypass him with a running play. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's one of those where it feels like backyard football in a sense. You say, forget about the route. Just run to the open spot in the middle of the field, and I'll find you. Good throw, good concentration on the catch, and they pick up the first down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 42-yard line. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Now, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. Second and 10, Flacco once more. And that is taken in by Njoku. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills' 20-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pick up on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. Touchdown, Browns! Marquise Goodwin. A 20-yard touchdown. And the Browns go coast to coast and finish the drive off with six points. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Bills are going to recover. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% <laughs> of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. 
And what do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Oh, and they sent the man in motion too late. This is going to be a delay. Delay the game. Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. Still second down. And now after the delay of game, they're operating behind the stick, second and 15. Cook following the penalty. And he'll be taken down after a short gain as that takes us to the two-minute warning. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Now, this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They run it again with Cook. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. Here's Sam Martin now, as he's on to punt for Buffalo. Flacco set to lead this offense. Down by 11, a minute 50 to play. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Flacco. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. Flacco. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Well, this defense has been physical all game long, and it certainly looks like they're not going to back off and make things any easier. They want to keep making life miserable for the receivers all the way to the end. They'll try again here, second and 10. Flacco. Finding Hunt. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Flacco will take to the air again. Inside the 30. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Despite writing it down on my notes, I never give enough credit to the offensive line, and we have to here. The protection, that's what made this play a success. Quarterback had to wait for his crossing route to develop, and that takes a little bit of extra time. Excellent job by the big fellows up front. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or? Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. They'll find Goodwin here on the right side. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout, as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining.
This Buffalo crowd letting him have it. Third down now. And again, it's Flacco to throw. Now throw right side here, going to be incomplete. Sometimes the game is pretty simple. Put a few extra defensive backs on the field, give them nowhere to throw the football, force the incompletion, and get off the field on third down. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with the football. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And the Bills are going to get the football back. So he'll take a knee here to wrap this one up, and he's going to want to keep that game ball. He was sensational. So it's a win here for the Bills, and this one, Charles, just too much Josh Allen. Yeah, I thought this defense just didn't have an answer for him all game long. They tried to change things up, but he was always one step ahead. And he finished with over 300 yards passing and two touchdown passes as well.